Welcome to the finals of the PAX East 2024 Crokinole Singles Championships. We have been going to PAX ever since 2020 and every year we go back the competition gets tougher and tougher. This year was no exception. These two, we had 109 people start out and it's all down to these two. On your left we have Nick Osmore. On your right we have Eric Mammon. And I have no idea if I pronounced your last name properly, Eric. So in this match you will be Eric and Nick. Here we go, this is a race to nine. Eric starts out with an open 20, putting some pressure on Nick right away. Nick goes a little bit long, giving Eric an early advantage. Oh, Nick going for a touch 20 there. Slight error as he catches a peg on the way in. Eric makes him pay for that mistake, <laughs> which he makes again. There's the touch he was going for. Didn't quite get the 20, but that's an awful lot closer to what he was looking for. Oh, Eric almost rubs a little salt in the wound with a takeout 20 there. Nick pushing for that follow through 20. Doesn't quite get it, and he's left a backboard. See if Eric looks like he's gonna be setting up to play some defense here rather than coming in looking for, oh. He's in very good position though, up three 20s. Wisely keeps play to the outside. Yeah, we're shooting dead at this point. First two points are going to go to Eric in this race to nine. There, Nick finds his range. See a little bit of a unique flicking style out of Eric. It's one of the, one of the great things about Crokinole is you can find your own way to do it. He's a second finger shooter, but does not use the thumb. And it's just uh, just looks a little bit unique the way he sets up and shoots there. All right, comes up a little short on that open 20 offering. Nick was definitely looking for a 20 there as he is against the hammer in this match. Oh, Eric's turn to catch a peg on the way in. Door open for Nick. Goes a little long. See what Eric goes for here. Is he looking for the follow through? Is he looking for the double? Looks like he was gunning for the follow through. Nice takeout. Things getting very interesting here. Eric with four shots left. Nick with three. See if Eric lines up for a double takeout here. It might be there. Nice and gets a shooter to the outside. Nick's gonna be needing to use a peg and that disc, maybe catch the peg first. Ah, yeah, had to go for it there, needing to make something happen against the hammer. Eric goes a little long. The pressure of the big lights of a PAX East final. Nice pullback by Nas. Sorry, that's a nickname, Nick Osmore. We call him Nas. It's gonna be either looking to hide or roll in here. Looks like he was looking to roll in, but ended up with the hide, that's okay. Eric, very unimpressed with that. <laughs> Having to shoot Hogan's Alley. Nice. Taking a four to zero lead in this race to nine. Eric first to act. Drains that open 20, putting pressure on Nick. Nick goes long, but it is a valid shot. Let's see what Eric does here. Nice, secures the takeout, pulls back. Nick likely to go for the peel. Absolutely, forcing play back to the middle. Says, come on back in, my friend, the water's warm. Eric says, thank you very much, I will take another open 20. 
Nick lips out a little bit. He is digging a hole. Oh, Eric loses a shooter. Unfortunate. Leaves the door open a crack for Nick. There, Nick finds, finds his range. Nick has hammer, and he's got a disc on in a unfriendly position. Let's see what he's able to do here. Oh, nice shot. Unfortunately lost his own, but the pressure is on Eric to drain an open 20 here, which he does. Nick, nice roll in. Needed to, excuse me, needed to bring play back to the middle, which he does. Nick with two shots left. Needing to make something happen as he's down to 20. I've seen this man make many a big follow through 20s. Yeah, pushes, catches the peg. Oh, Eric, if Eric had drained that 20, that would have been a nail in the coffin. Now there's a, a sliver of hope here for Nick to secure a tie. Needs the follow through 20. There it is, as advertised. 3-3, what a great confidence booster. Nick with a couple of fantastic shots in this round. That angle in 20, and then this one here, right here, that follow through, beautiful. Still down five to one, first act. Drains that open 20, putting a bit of pressure on Eric. Eric comes up a little short. Oh, Nick lips out, almost secured the drop back 20, leaving a backboard for Eric. Let's see if he's able to convert. That does look like a heavy, heavy hanger. Eric down to 20 though. He's definitely gonna wanna get this. No easy shot, that's for sure. Oh, and he drains it. Draws some applause out of his opponent. These two are opponents today, but they also chose to partner up for the U.S. Open. Coming up soon in Voorheesville, New York. I probably didn't say that right either. Wow. Voorheesville, I believe, is the proper pronunciation as these two exchange Open 20s. U.S. Open this year sold out in like an hour and a half. This game is growing, exploding in popularity. And uh, the folks at the Extra Pint Crokinole Club put on such a great show. People come from far and wide to compete as we watch Nick open the door for Eric to get back into this round. Oh, nice double. Although he may have left an opening here for Eric. Let's see. He's going to want the off and the 20. He's going to want a 20 for himself, was what I meant. I should have been more clear. <laughs> Eric shaking that off. As we see a, a couple great shots here. Nice double takeout by Nick. Eric first act in this round. Right back to business. Shakes off that unfortunate drainage of the opponent's open 20. Nick with the Super Steve, the crowd yelling at him, Super Steve! In fun, I should say in fun. Great, uh, great environment there at PAX. It's pretty cool going back year after year that there's uh, familiar faces that come around spending time at the Crokinole Zone. And uh, yeah, some real friendships have developed there for us as well as the people that come there and compete and just hang out all four days getting in as much crokinole as they possibly can. Eric up a 20. Nick's gonna be looking for an off and a 20 here. Er <laughs> uh. <laughs> you hear him say, I was planning a 20, just not that way. Eric is immune to that foolishness as he's right back to business. Drains an open 20. Nick in a good position here to hide. Not quite what he wanted. Oh, 
Eric up a 20. Two discs on. Nick needs to make something happen here. Follow through, some sort of hide. Uh, Mm. Eric in a good position, but he's not. There he is, that nice, smart, going for that peel. No need to keep it on. He's already got two discs on and uh, 20. Nice. I think Nick was looking for the double there, and he did everything he could to secure it. Oh, wow. Eric almost securing that 20. Interesting position. Nick with the hammer. Eric sitting two discs on, one in the 10, one in the 15. Nick needs a 20. He needs to make something happen here. Pressure is on. Oh, pushes for that follow through 20. If Nick's able to secure 20 here, he's going to be in pretty good shape. I thought he could lose everything. That works too. Going up 7 to 5. Nick putting some pressure on, opens up with that 20. Eric comes up a little bit short. Nick secures the off. All he really needs at this point being up a 20. Wow. Twice in the same match. Maybe that's why these two became partners. Nick says, if you're going to be that friendly, let's hang out. Let's hang out at the U.S. Open. Oh, loses a shooter. Nick very much in control of this round. This 20 right here would seal it completely. Doesn't get it. Eric with three shots left, but needs three 20s. So although not mathematically out of it, mm, definitely not mathematically out of it. Definitely not mathematically out of it. Ah, now he is. Great pressure, 20 out of Nick. Awesome, seven to five. I'm sorry, I believe I said this was a race to nine. It is a race to 11. We don't mess around at PAX. Comes down to the finals, we want a slog. Here we go. <laughs> Players exchange takeouts here. This is in Nick's favor as he has the hammer. He's got play pulled back on his side. See if Eric looks to peel. He did not look to peel. Looked like he was just looking for a takeout, but didn't uh, didn't get that either. Oh, if Nick had secured that 20, he would have a chokehold on this round. Mm. Nick Lou or sorry, Eric loses his shooter. Nice. There we go. Nas drains that 20, putting huge pressure on Eric. Yeah, that red disc obviously tucked in a not very friendly position. Nick decides to add insult to injury. Eric says, enough of this foolishness. Peel. Let's get back to the middle. Give me a chance to get back into this. Nick seems to have found his range up that left lane. 
Last few shots inconsequential. All this is is confidence building for Nick Osmore. And he pushes for that follow through. That man loves his follow throughs. There it is, great shot. Fantastic round, knotted up at seven points each. I love seeing a close battle. Eric seems to have lost his range a little bit on these 20s. Nick is picking up speed. Big Mo has come to town, momentum. Nick up a 20, but against the hammer. Eric's gonna need to create some sort of an opportunity to get a 20 here at some point. Pull and play a little bit closer to the middle without giving Nick a great option for a 20, unless he goes for one of those uh, follow throughs that he loves so much. Well, who doesn't, but. Oh, he was pushing for something there. Overpowered it, lost his shooter. Eric with an opportunity to put extra pressure on. Goes long. Nick content to hit and stick. Nick, nice pull back. Up at 20. He's got his disc pulled back between the peg. Behind the peg. Hmm. Nick goes up nine to seven. Pressure is on. Eric first act in this round. Gets right back to business, drains that open 20. Nick comes up short. It's been a back and forth battle in this match. Oh, Super Steve. Crowd must be distracted, nobody heckled him on that one. Eric takes a commanding 320 advantage in this round. Nick refines his range. Eric comes up a little short. I wonder if that was intentional, the way he stopped and looked around at the 20 count before he took that shot. Maybe Eric can chime in and tell us whether that shot was intentional, if he can even remember. Sometimes it's hard to remember uh, what you were thinking or how things were going at a particular time. Eric drops over. Looks a little dejected that that didn't go down, but he's still in a fantastic position here. He's against the hammer, but he's up 220s, two discs on. Nick gonna be pushing for a follow through 20 here. Oh, pushes a little too hard. Eric with another opportunity. Put a stranglehold on this. Very similar. We're having Groundhog's Day here. Oh, very close to a takeout 20 there. Kind of a weird position here for Eric, although he's in, uh, he's in really good shape. He just needs to be a little careful here. Not to, uh, not to give Nick yet another gift in this round. Oh, I did not know that that happened. <laughs> he has opened the door. Nick with a backboard, see if he's able to convert, put some pressure on here. Oh, unable to secure that 20. That 20 would have been big. Hmm. Eric's still in pretty good position here. Nick need, <coughs> excuse me. Nick needs a double takeout and stay in the 15 to tie this round. I don't know if it's there up the line. Weighing out his options. It is a tough shot from any angle. Let's see what he's able to do here. Yeah, I think that's the line. I think it's up the line to have any chance at this. 
tough, tough shot though. Oh, as he launches it into the final row of Crokinole boards in the Crokinole zone. <laughs> Where'd it go? Fortunately, there's enough spectators. Somebody ran off and grabbed that for him. 9-9. Nine, nine. It all comes down to this. Nick starts things off by going long. Oh! -ho -ho! Wow. I don't know if he was going for that or not, but regardless, that was a fantastic shot. Pressure on Nick. Pressure smasher. He drains that 20. Eric right down to business. Whew. Hear the crowd getting into it. Nick goes long. Oh, wow. Again, not sure that's what he was looking for, but he is up 220s with the hammer. Maybe about to make it 320s. Oh, loses his shooter. Nick with an opportunity to get back into it. Comes up short, leaving Eric a backboard. Eric goes for the lighter touch this time. Still cannot secure that 20. Door is open for Nick to go for a big follow through 20 here. Mmm. Loses his shooter. Last couple shots, inconsequential. Some highs, some lows, some back and forth battle here between these two warriors. As Eric takes it down, 11 to nine. What a fantastic matchup. Like I say, the competition just keeps getting better and better every year. Cannot wait for PAX East 2025. Come on back and watch all the Crokinole action here on the Tracy Boards channel as Nick passes the trophy over to Eric, taking down the gold. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and make it a great day.